Well, good morning, everyone. Got a little bit of trucking to do this morning. I gotta throw some fuel in, and then we're gonna take off. So we've got about four loads of chips to haul left for a uh, neighboring township for tar and chip roads. We had to haul in about 580 tons, which is roughly 25, 26 loads. And uh, I got all of it done except four loads. Yesterday we had to go to the FSA office and do some paperwork. So we're gonna get that job finished up today. So it's been pretty rainy lately. This video was actually supposed to be an oat harvest video, but we've been getting quite a bit of rain. We've got about five inches over the past two weeks, which is great for the crop, but it's a little more than we need right now because we've got some other jobs we need to do and we need to be able to get in the fields to do them. So we are good on rain for a while. It could stop for a little bit. Um, we just don't want it to stop for too long because we definitely need the rain. So we got oats to harvest, we've got fungicide to do, and it's too wet to do that. So we are gonna try and get as much trucking done as we can. Dad's going on vacation next week, I think, and I would kinda like to have a week off of trucking to get some farm stuff caught up. So we're gonna try and get this knocked out. Um, I know we've got a couple other jobs that need to be done. It's not quite as big as that one, but we're gonna get as much done as we can. All well, made it up here to the quarry for the first load. Um, we are calling CM16s, which are the chips for tar and chip roads. Good morning, Kevin. I'll take 22 and a quarter. Pretty small chips. 
Um, these are for tar and chipping roads. Most of our township roads around here are tar and chip. So, so how that works is they put a layer of like asphalt oil down and it's hot when they lay it so it's really sticky. Then they put a layer of these chips over the top and then as it cools it makes kind of a hard surface. It's a lot cheaper than asphalt. It doesn't hold up as well but the townships usually don't have as much funding as say the county or the state so they do it a little cheaper on here. I'm sure a lot of you know what tar and chipping is but I know in some areas like out in Iowa they seem to have a lot more gravel roads uh, which we do have some gravel roads but most of them are tar and chipped at least the more traveled ones so I'm gonna get this load dumped off and go get another one. Put a copy of the ticket in the mailbox. Like so. And we open up our tarp. really cool to be able to take an actual walking tour of this place they got this big crush plant over here I don't know what anything does but they uh, send big huge rocks up out of the hole and it sorts it out and crushes it and does whatever and they got conveyors all over the place so you'll have ag lime in one spot which is really fine and then FM 20s and chips like we're hauling which is smaller and then as you go around it gets bigger and bigger so you'll get one inch two inch three inch road mix um, it's pretty cool it just sends it in and a whole bunch of different products come out so yeah a tour of this place would be really cool because all I've seen is just what I can see from sitting in the truck so it's a neat place though and I set my camera up to get a shot of me dumping the gravel out and my camera malfunctioned. So I'm gonna stick around for dad to get here. He should be not too far behind me and I'll video him dumping real quick, get a little bit better content for you and see what we're gonna do from there.
I'm done trucking for the day. Dad's got one load he's got to finish up for another guy, but uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I guess if you don't know, we do have two trucks and we haul for hire, mostly gravel for some townships and just local jobs. We do the small jobs that nobody really wants to deal with. Everybody wants to do big jobs, and we take the one load, two load, three load here and there. It kind of helps fill in when we're kind of slow on the farm. Um, this job I just finished up was a little bit bigger job for us, that 580 ton. But we normally do that every year around the same time, so we know how to work it in. But yeah, we're glad to get that job done. We can move on to some other things. We got another decent sized job to do, hauling some slag for a farm lane just down the road from here actually. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Oh, I almost forgot. I was going to show you the oats. So, we have some oats. I've been talking about them. We got four acres of oats with hay underneath the oats. We got an alfalfa and grass mix coming. Um, these oats are pretty much ready to harvest. They're a little bit green yet on the bottom, but I'm not gonna be able to get all the oats anyway because if you can see this down here, we got the alfalfa that is growing and it's growing fast. So with all this rain, I haven't been able to cut them. And if it keeps staying wet and rainy, that alfalfa is just gonna keep growing with this heat. And I'm afraid it's gonna get too tall and I'm not gonna be able to get very many of the oats. So I'm really hoping it'll dry up here enough that I can cut these next week. And shortly after that, I'll probably get my first cutting of hay off of it. Um, it seems like I've got a really good stand of alfalfa and grass. I'm not exactly sure what all the grass is. I know there's orchard grass, but I don't know the complete mix of the hay, which I should because I'm a dealer for it, but I'm still learning. Anyways, these are the oats. I've got a pretty cool surprise coming to cut these with. It is not our combine. It is something a little different and I think you guys are gonna like it. So stay tuned for that video. I'm hoping that it will be the next video, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. So four acres of oats. I realize they are getting kind of dirty. We got a bunch of giant ragweed on that end and the end rows up along the house yard. Uh, they had a hard time. The oats had a hard time coming up. So we got a lot of foxtail in here. I might just have to leave this area and chop it with the bat wing after I get done. I'm not real concerned about getting all the oats because I'm, I mainly wanted this to be a hay field. The oats were just kind of a nurse crop. So I will use the oats, some of them for our goats, and then I'll sell the rest, maybe use some for cover crops, we'll see. But like I said, I'm not too concerned with the oats. If I lose a little bit on the end, it's not gonna be a big deal, so. Coming soon, Oat Harvest 2020. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.